हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल व्यूज राइट नॉट फ्रंट ऑफ यू एच पी लेज़र जेट प्रो फोर हंड्रेड द मॉडल नंबर इज़ एम एफ पी एम फोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव डी डब्ल्यू यू कैन सी द मॉडल नंबर दिस इज़ द मॉडल ऑफ दिस प्रिंटर एम फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव डी डब्ल्यू एंड द इशूज़ विद दिस प्रिंटर इज़ नॉट कनेक्टिविटी विद द कंप्यूटर so today we'll fix the formatting board or formatter board or data board whatever you say uh, we will fix this board today uh, stay with me watch the complete video learn how to disassemble and how to remove the main board and then how can we fix it back okay so i will teach you step by step first of all move the paper drawer keep it here on the top move this to the cover okay there is no screw okay Uh, behind so just uh, we need flat screw driver to remove this left side cover okay uh, we'll see how to there is one lock over here okay this okay one is here second is in the down okay fine let you see then just place it on the top now we have to disassemble the data board i will visible for you this printer has no connectivity with the computer this is the data board okay move the all cables slowly without being damaged any cable move the cable slowly okay fine scanner cables here we go automatic document cable and yes okay all cables are removed now time to unscrew these screws Keep it aside. Screws. And one screw is here left also. Write down the wireless card. Okay, this is wireless card. We removed it. There is down screw, one screw over here, and our main board is released. Keep it aside. Come on the table. Okay, there is no connectivity. First of all, yeah. Okay, this USB port is broken from our side, so we will replace the main board because it's not fixed well. Legs are broken from down. You can see it's totally loose. So we have to replace this USB port, and then we will check. we need solder soldering iron for this purpose if you have soldering iron iron is fine and good uh, my solder iron is working so i will resold the all connectors then we will remove this data port usb socket it's a female socket called or long nose to hold it from down we will push it then like this or you are busy with here okay it gets removed now it's time to Oh, 
holes should be clean I, yeah. see okay with the I mostly use uh, sucker to <coughs> unhole these holes sometime I jerk uh, and it's fell down the soldering that inside now I will use sucker for these four points for uh, positive and data signals 5 volt and data pass through here Very smoothly sharply.
okay guys place back the cables one by one don't leave any cable unplugged go this printer should be functional completely Finally left this wireless car. Fixed fine. Okay, here we go. The front cover. Uh, sorry side left cover that we opened in the beginning uh, as you know uh, I opened this from the front end but when the time of fixing we will place it in the back first then in the front like this first of all see it will come from the behind There is a log behind, okay. Place from the behind first, then just from here, like this, okay. It's fixed. Okay, almost ready. Now, place back the paper tray. We will turn the power on and we will check its functionality with the computer It's working hold on let it initialize then we will give the print command from our computer and we'll make sure that printer is connected or not okay printer is initialized completely and this is our printer icon we will right click on it go to printer properties and we will test a page print test page and you can see you can hear a voice okay, it's printing very well okay the issue is resolved by formatting board guys uh, the issue was with the DC socket uh, sorry data socket female port uh, we replaced it very well I told you how to disassemble the main board if you have any question regarding this model Digit Pro 400 MFP M425 DW you can ask me in the comments I will reply your questions and thank you for watching guys take care bye